What is stewed rhubarb? It is basically rhubarb just boiled right down to the soft consistency with sugar and some water. It becomes thick, just like applesauce. And you can use it in an assortment of dishes. You can have tarts with it, muffins, cheesecake, even ice cream. So, let's get cooking. The ingredients for this stewed rhubarb is obviously six cups of rhubarb. Wash, remove blemishes and slice. Some water, you will not need a lot. And sugar, a half a cup to start. And you will add more as needed for your taste buds and flavor enhancers, any that you would like. Vanilla, cinnamon, lime juice, I even have orange extract. So, and there's also strawberry extract and raspberry extract. So, any enhancement flavors you would like. To bring this all together, we will need a non-reactive pot. So then we are going to put our rhubarb in. We don't need a lot of water, just a little bit. So I'm just gonna do a little couple drops right now. I'm gonna make sure I have it on medium to medium low heat so you can get out every bit of goodness there is. And rhubarb does have a lot of water in it. And then we're gonna start with the half a cup of sugar. So this should take about, could take 10 to 15 minutes, anywhere in there. So low and slow. Alright, so at this point your rhubarb is to be nice and tender and you can see mine is like basically falling all apart. There might be a few little chunks left, but for most part it is done. Now this is the time where you want to see if there's any flavorings you would like to add or if you need more sugar. So you can either leave it chunky or you can run it, use your motion blender. I'm not going to do that though. I'm probably going to leave mine chunky. So that six cups of sliced rhubarb made four cups of stewed rhubarb. Can this stewed rhubarb be canned? Why yes, it can. You can can this. You need to adjust the sugar for the amount of rhubarb you are using. For every quart of rhubarb, you need a half a cup of sugar. It is water bath method. If you are at sea level, it is 15 minutes processing time. So anything above that, you add five minutes to each elevation. So if you are a thousand feet to 2000 feet, it's 20 minutes. I hope you enjoyed our video today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.